Hi, I'm Dr. Marta Baird, and in this video, I'll be describing a class 3 malocclusion and what it means for our growing patients. In an ideal class 1 bite, the upper and lower teeth fit together in a certain way that's almost like a jigsaw puzzle. All of the teeth are touching, and there's a normal overbite and overjet of the front teeth. With normal growth in our young, child patients, and teen patients, the condyle increases in length, and the ramus, or the body of the jaw, increases in height. With this growth, the jaw increases in size, and it's carried forward during growth. Well, with a normal bite, a class 1 bite, because of the interdigitation of the teeth, the teeth get carried forward during normal growth. In a class 3, the lower jaw is in front of the upper jaw. The way that the teeth fit together is called an anterior crossbite. As the lower jaw grows, that bite gets carried forward, and the bite maintains. The way that the patient is biting together, or the increased mandibular growth, is locked in the upper jaw to be always set behind. The patient can't outgrow this without orthodontic intervention. In fact, because the upper jaw is malleable to pressures from orthodontics or from the bite, the upper jaw growth is actually held back compared to what would happen normally. So, what we'd like to do is avoid this type of movement. We can't really make the lower jaw smaller. This will cause pain in the jaw if we try to set the lower jaw back. Instead, we need to bring the upper jaw forward. In order to achieve that kind of treatment, we need to place some sort of force on the upper jaw to stimulate that jaw to grow forward. So once that bite is corrected, the two parts can grow together normally. Here is an example of a patient that was seen at age 8. She has an anterior crossbite, and the lower jaw is holding her upper jaw from forward growth. Here is the patient at the end of her first phase of treatment, which was about 18 months in treatment length. The patient returned when she was 13 years old and all of the adult teeth have come in. Notice that the underbite has not returned for this patient. However, she has some mild misalignment. The patient was treated for a second phase with Invisalign for approximately one year. Here is her before and after for her phase one treatment and her before and after for the phase two treatment. This is another patient example. He has a small upper jaw in width and it's also set back. This patient would benefit from stimulating his upper jaw to grow forward. This is the end of the first phase of treatment. The appliance that's worn in order to correct the upper jaw position is called a face mask. This appliance is worn at night, 11 hours, while the patient is sleeping. The way that this appliance works is to stimulate the upper jaw forward growth. An expander is placed with hooks on the outside, and these hooks are attached to the face bow. Between the hook and the face bow is an elastic. This is placed by the patient every evening before bed, and it stimulates the upper jaw to grow forward. This phase is usually six to nine months in treatment time. Here's the patient before and after for his phase one, and this is what the patient presented with when he was in his permanent dentition as a teenager. His underbite did not return, but now he has some mild crowding in his upper jaw. This is the final position of his teeth and his before and after for the phase two treatment. And the before for phase one compared to his after for phase two. Treatment in adults is quite different. Once jaw growth has reduced, then it is not possible to bring the upper jaw forward. In fact, the optimal time to bring the upper jaw forward is around age eight or nine. After that, we have a significant decrease in result. When adults present with an upper jaw that's been held back and a lower jaw that's in the correct position, the treatment for this is surgery. This patient had his maxilla brought forward. Here is his before x-ray and after x-ray. By using a face mask, during the mixed dentition for phase one treatment, we can avoid having to have the upper jaw brought forward in adulthood with a surgical treatment. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on orthodontic treatment, visit BairdOrthodontics.com.